Hi everyone, it's Sara, aka Queen of Green from Vin Van Cardi. Welcome to the seventh Saturday sipping session, which is all about Gruner Veltliner. So I chose this wine this week because it is scorchio scorchio outside, uh, hence why I'm dressed like I'm about to go to the beach. Uh, and I wanted to choose a nice white grape variety that wasn't just your standard Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc. And so we have the Gruner Veltliner, which is Austria's most widely planted grape variety, um, because it's kind of like Sauvignon Blanc's exotic cousin. Although it grows predominantly in Austria, you can also find examples from Slovakia, Czech Republic and Hungary. But we're going to focus on Austria, as that's where this wine is from. Um, so Austria is most famous for producing Gruner Veltliners, um, which are predominantly grown in Lower Austria, which is basically northeast of the country. And Austria has a cool climate, which is perfect for this grape variety, as it helps retain that really, really high acidity. Wines made with Gruner Veltliner um, range from light and peppery in style, with aromas and flavours of herbs and citrus, to richer, often oaked styles, with more flavours of melon and yellow apple. Austria has three main labelling systems for quality. The first is Landwein, which is for wines that are usually low in alcohol and mass-produced, so just your box standard table wine. The second is Qualitätswein, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is the Austrian mark of quality for Gruner Veltliners. And then the third is the DAC, which is the sub-regional Qualitätswein, and that is then labelled in two different ways. Wines that are labelled classic are usually lighter in style, with tingly acidity and flavours of citrus, and then no oak flavours. Whereas wines that are labelled reserve uh, are usually richer in style, with more tropical fruit flavours, white pepper, honey, and probably some oak. They also label their wines with the same system as Germany for sweetness, from trocken to trockenbeeren auslese. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back and watch the video about Riesling as I go through these categories and what they mean. Now, Austria actually has two extra categories. Ausbruch is a classification between Birrenauslese and Trockenbirrenauslese, which are both sweet wines, whereas Schirfwein or Strohwein um, are names for wines that are made with uh, bunches of grapes that are laid out on beds of straw or beds of reeds. Don't know why I'm saying it in a romantic way. Uh, and this is done during the winter to concentrate the flavours. Strawwein literally means straw wine, and Schiefwein literally means reed wine. Gruner Veltliner is very food friendly and goes well with uh, aromatic dishes, tofu, Japanese food, Vietnamese food, um, and most vegetables really. So, the wine I'm going to try today is a Gruner Veltliner from Lidl that cost £5.50. Uh, this is a 2018 Reserve, which uh, tells me that it's slightly more aged wine, so I'm hoping for uh, a more richer style with more fruit flavours, hopefully some tropical fruits in there. Uh, it is, let's have a look, it's 13%, so yeah, that's higher in alcohol, which is a good sign. Um, and it's from the place that I cannot pronounce, I'm going to show you here, it's that long word there that I'm, I'm not even going to attempt, um, which is in the lower Austria, which is northeast of the country that I spoke about earlier. Uh, anything else? Oh, there we go. It says here, trocken, which as we know means dry. So, let's give it a go. White pepper. 
but it's this um there's a herby something to it it's like um it's like i want to say fennel just because it's mm. because of the spice isn't it yeah. it's like oh i'm gonna go get my Medium spicy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this time, instead of you watching me slurp a lot and taste a lot, I thought I would uh, just kind of fly through all of that write down my notes and then talk you through what I've written. Uh, so the color I've gone for is the pale lemon. And then if you do have one of these, um, you'll see that it does have like kind of drippy uh, legs there, which does show the alcohol, maybe a bit of residual sugar. The nose, it's quite aromatic actually. So you get a lot of tree fruits, you get a lot of stone fruits there. Um, I've written uh, yellow apple, some peach, definitely some citrus and your classic white pepper, which is, you know, just a standard Gruner Wirtliner uh, aroma. Um, on the palette then, it is dry, it's full bodied, um, it's still got the high acidity that you're looking for, um, medium plus alcohol, so I think 13 is um, definitely bang on. You can smell it quite a lot on the nose actually, it is, you know, the cheaper wines will always smell a little bit more like alcohol than anything else. Um, it's got quite pronounced flavours of honey, again you've got stone fruit, so you've got your nectarine, your peach, there's quite a lot of herbs in there, there's something I can't quite put my finger on, I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's fennel, but it's it's got that kind of spicy herb quality, um, and I can't quite work out what it is, uh, but something. Um, definitely, you know, all that white pepper again on the palate. There aren't any oak flavours, so it's a reserve style, so it has been aged um, and it is definitely the richer kind of higher in alcohol style. Um, but if it has been uh, matured in oak, then it was probably in um, kind of like maybe a French oak barrel or a used barrel, used oak. So that way you don't get much of the flavours, you just get more of the texture from being matured in oak. Um, and then I've put that it's got a medium spicy finish. So you definitely get those herbs and whatever it is that I can't pick out um, lingering there on the tongue. And so the conclusion uh, is that it is 5.49 out of 5.49. I mean, I, I would absolutely pay 5.49 for this wine. Um, I think actually maybe this would be maybe like a six pounds out of 5.49. It's worth, I would say this is actually worth a little bit more than I paid for it. Um, again, you know, like I say, it is a cheaper version. It's a, it's a cheap wine. I mean, most supermarket wines are cheap. Um, I will be looking into kind of maybe a higher bracket soon enough. Um, just kind of wanted to explore the baseline of what you can find in the supermarket. Um, and again, you know, it's not the best quality, but for this price, you can't go wrong. So there you have it. Thank you for watching this week's Saturday sipping session all about Gruner Weltliner from Austria. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've taken something away from it. If you do decide to try this wine or any Gruner from, for that matter, then please don't forget to tag us in your posts. We love to see what you're drinking and what you're up to. Um, we will also be sharing a recipe from Bowley's Kitchen this week. He's going to be cooking something up that goes perfectly with a Gruner Weltliner. So keep an eye on our social media at Vin Van Cardid on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget also we do have a low YouTube channel. Um, I think we have four subscribers now and that's including my mum. Uh, so that's it. Until next week, please stay safe, stay sane, and drink your wine at home. Yachida! It's just, I don't know what's going on today. It's just so loud. It's ice cream van, train.